Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again and for the first time ever maybe, or at least one of the very few times, we're going with a vanilla class though. We are using all vanilla classes here. We are using modded trinkets though. We're going to be going on probably our last level 4 mission. These guys are a little over leveled for this, of course the level 5s. I was tempted to bring them on a level 5 mission, but as you can see... This is the only long mission, and I wanted to go on a long mission, and also the trinket's really cool, but I really wanted it. The embracing, embracement cloak, like we, uh, is it embracement? Yeah, embracement cloak. We don't have one of those yet, at least I don't think we do. Uh, and it sounds pretty interesting, it's a, a really, really cool uh, item for zero light runs, as you can have a little look-see, minus 20 stress, plus 10 dodge, plus 15 pro, and minus 10 chance. 10% chance party surprise that below one torch. Sounds very useful. So I thought we'd grab that. Uh, we I actually added a class recently called the Fiend Reborn that people suggested that has some interesting interactions with light. So I thought I'd bring him along. But this is going to be our crew. We've got Bethel, uh, who has been really doing an incredible job in the Hamlet recently, making sure that bandits don't get in, as well as um, rallying a chase against Chasey. Which we'll, uh, we'll get into soon. There's some diary entries that go into a bit more depth about that coming up. But he's going to be going with the shield spike for that extra repurse damage. The bleed on repurse is not that interesting because we're in the curve. But still very nice. And the last light is mainly going to be helping with uh, command and um, bolster whenever we use those. Just especially bolster. I just thought it'd be a nice little bit of added healing. As well as providing a nice amount of added um, prop to bolster which we're going to be using uh, every combat then we have ruby here she's going to be actually kind of frontlining it with the crushed hemlock doing damage with the uh, bookshot which i think is going to be quite interesting um and the armor piercing rounds and then she's got a little bit of um speed buffs and stress healing which is really nice then we've got nina again with the crushed hemlock she's going with a pick to the face uh with a poison darts throwing dagger and the uh, toxin trickery to give herself those buffs and cures. And then Aurora, of course, inseparable from Ruby. She's coming out and she's going to be our main healer. Mainly using um, the battlefield bandages. Uh, but we'll, we'll try and use different things. We've got um, suppressing fire here, which is going to massively, massively nerf crit. Which I think is very useful. Uh, so we'll be kind of sticking with that and seeing how that goes. Hopefully, this ends up giving us quite a good bit of uh, defense and damage. And of course, these two as well have got prot on them. I just thought the 25% prot on guys that have lower than 35 health makes sense. I know that you're only barely, but still, these guys have 49 and 47 respectively. So I thought that it, it kind of just made sense to be ready for that. Anyways, let's uh, let's get our provisions going. Um, get ready and jump on down in. We do have a diary entry to start us off here. Uh, this is first one is for Maggie, our cook. And this is by Blank Gaming. Disgusting. My last mission was plain and simple. Disgusting. I had been sent to the Warrens with some other warriors. The combat was easy. Just throw some poison bait at the swines every now and again and my part was done. But the environment was so filthy. Not a place for one of the only chefs in the hamlet. I am honestly quite curious how life forms can even live in such filth. I'm still cleaning my equipment. I'd be terrible if I started getting, um, getting people ill with my food. Indeed. It'd be terrible. Yeah, gotta watch out for that. She did not like it in the Warrens there at all. But yeah, next diary entry, we'll probably wait until we go camping for this next one. But we have a very heavy, heavy law-friendly one, um, law-building one about Chasey and Bethel that we're going to get into. So I'm really ready for that. TEA has written that one, so we're going to get into that soon. The but first of all, let's jump in. Like I said, first time using vanilla classes. We should be okay here. I didn't actually take a look, so you're still level 4, you're still level 4, you're still level 4, and you're level 5. So we've only got one person with leveled up gear here. I probably Another should have looked at that first Another and got myself some... Uh, Got myself some extra gear leveled up, but honestly, we're on a level 4 mission, so it doesn't actually matter too much. We should still be okay. Uh, ooh, surprising them too. Not what I expected, I have to say. Um, we're going to go for a poison on you straight away. Getting a crit there is very nice. 3 over 6 is great. And yes, nice dodge. Well done. Uh, we're going to go with this here to lower your crit, especially this guy here. We need to lower his crit. Uh, well, let's pop that in. That's going to increase our armor piercing and damage. And then we're going to hit all of these guys. Nice armor piercing. And... Oh. 
I'm I'm a bit dumb. I'm a bit dumb. I've given her the crushed hemlock and not realized it's only on melee hits. So that was real stupid. That's uh, my mistake. I might have to change some things around there. I honestly did not realize that was a thing at all. That is my bad. So we've given her a trinket that's not super useful here. I immediately saw that and thought, yeah, it hits, a, it hits loads of slots. That'll be good. But no, that's not going to be quite as good as I thought it was. We're going to want to kill this guy as soon as possible here. So let's uh, let's go for him next. Tail shot. Wow. That was a big hit. That was a big hit. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We're good. This guy missed again. That's even better. Um... In fact, yeah, I've, I've, I've majorly messed up here. I've given you a hemlock as well, and earn, you only have one melee. Yeah, I've I've, uh, I've organized my trinkets poorly, let's say. We should still be okay. We should still be okay. But that was that was foolish of me. I'm going to try and kill you because we don't want you to explode. I think he end up will. I think he will end up exploding, though. It does, it does look like it. One more turn, he's going to blow up. There you go. Here it is. Oh, we dodged it. Fantastic. That was that was looking slightly problematic. But there you go. We've got our post going. That's uh, fantastic. We're going to get some blight on the body, apparently. Apparently, I clicked the body there. Okay, we are, we are majorly, majorly messing this up. We've already messed up our trinkets. Let's hope we don't mess up too much more here, shall we? Uh... This is going to be great command because, of course, it hits everyone. Good healing. Should be fantastic. We'll heal ourselves up here for 18. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't know where they're getting this buff from. This 27% damage while guarded. What, what, what is giving that? Oh, it's this. Okay. No worries. That's me being silly. Uh, let's quickly take this again. The book shot. So, Ruby's really going to just be crazy AoE for us. We're going to get most of our damage out of Bethel here and uh, Nina. Of course, these two got swapped around a bit, which wasn't what we wanted, but should be fine. Three over four. I'm just, I'm annoyed at myself for not realizing the Crushed Hemlock was melee only. I always get confused because the, um, the, the one that bleeds on hit is ranged and melee, and then this one's melee only. I always get confused which is which. So that's my bad, definitely. Definitely a mistake on my part, and they happen from time to time. They do, they do. We cannot dwell. We just have to push forward until the tasks end, as you would say. Uh, these guys have high prop. We should be okay, though. Uh, right, so a pick to the face is going to be great here because it'll do a lot of damage Executed through armor piercing. And if somehow it didn't kill, it would leave blight. So, really, really good move there. We're going to get stunned, though. That's no problem. We've already done kind of most of what we wanted to do here. Please don't stun us. Please don't stun us. Yes. Okay. That's great. Um, We will start off with Martin. Nah, we won't. We'll, we'll, we'll just go for the heal here. And... Let's get our repost going. We'll buff that up. And... Away we go. Another abomination. There you go. And that plus the armor piercing, plus that plus two damage, it's really, really good on Buckshot. It works very well. It has armor piercing itself as well, so we get like 45% armor piercing. And as you can see, we're now really seeing this come into its own. We'll just heal you up a bit, why not? Good crit heals. Good crit heals. I'm liking that. Grievous injury. Nice one. Okay, so th this this group, even if the their gear is under upgraded and These their trinkets are uh, poorly organized, it still works fine. It still the works just lit. fine. The path is clear. There's some enemies I'm sure could come across which are going to be more dangerous, but we'll we'll get to that when we come to it. One thing I have learned recently, also this is a pretty hard fight. One thing I have learned recently that I'll kind of delve into a little bit is um, the heavy Monsters mod, of which there are numerous now. There's probably like 10 or 11 heavy Monsters. They can only appear on level 1, 3, 5, and 6 missions. They cannot appear on the modded level 2 and 4 missions. I never knew this to start with. Um, I was wondering why we, ha why we hadn't seen too many of them, but apparently that's the main cause. They can only show up on, um, on particular missions. So when we get into the harder missions, they're going to be much harder because we are going to be facing new foes. 
So the difficulty is certainly going to increase with level 5 missions because we'll be seeing enemies we haven't seen before as well. That was a pretty big heal there. I'm not that worried about stress, to be honest. Especially when he's missing like that. Um, this would do 4 to 8. This is better because it stacks more blight and does more damage. Good job you buffed him. Nice repose. Accusation there with the horror. We do actually have the ability to get rid of some of that, so... I will do that soon. And these guys have very low accuracy now. So let's just quickly get rid of that. We have one Loudenum. I think it's starting with Nina the Grave Robber. You get one Loudenum. Um... And yeah, let's bolster here. Lovely. Minus 15 stress is really nice. The pinch coming in. No bleed though. Lovely. Let me keep on stacking these. This guy, he's, he's taking a while to go down, but he's getting there. Accusation once more. But there you go. We don't actually take the horror because we managed to kill him before it finished the turn. That's really nice for us. Uh, we're going to finish you off as well because you're a pain. We don't need the healing right now. And we're just going to buff everyone's damage up. So this is the only problem with Ruby in the position she's in at the moment. You may be wondering why I've opted for this build with Ruby and put her in position 2 rather than the str much stronger for her position 3. It's because of Swift Striker here. With Nina in position 3, we get plus 2 speed and 5 crit, and that puts her up to 21% crit, which I feel is pretty, pretty important because of things like that. <laughs> I, fe I felt like point. Nina having that extra damage in that position was much more pertinent and much more useful. Uh, so I opted for Nina being more of a supportive role. Initially, I was planning on her being a setup for Nina's um, throw and dagger with the blight on Bookshot with the hemlock, but obviously that's not working out. Unfortunately, that is a trinket slot that we're not getting so too much use out of, so I'll ignore my ideas of, uh, of that. We do have some bloodsuckers coming in, of course. Um, it was bound to happen. These guys do have a bit of prot, so it's worth um, stabbing them out. We, we might end up getting to some diseases here. We'll see. Um, let's lower these guys' accuracy. It's going to help in reducing disease. A little bit of blight coming out, but we get the dodge. Do not worry. We get the dodge. And we'll finish this front guy off, hopefully. Yes, indeed, we will. Yeah, that damage buff from putting that clip in is so good. Do get a little bit of blight, but we resisted. Very nice. Um, and let's, let's get our repurse going. Almost got a kill as well. But... The repost is so strong with the trinket. It's so worthwhile. And there you go. We're really popping off now on this guy. Aurora maybe can finish. Yeah, Aurora can finish. Oh, no. He's pushed forward one. Maybe not. Oh, no. She still can. Great stuff. Well done, Aurora. I love the fact that she's like a battle medic. She's so versatile in her role. It's, it's very, very nice to have. And of course, we, we, we face some bloodsuckers, but these guys, they, they've made their way around the block once or twice. They, they know what to expect. They have absolutely no qualms. Also, we... Okay, I guess say, we got some weird scouting going on there. That was a huge scout. Okay, so we've actually got quite a lot of safety in going down this way for now. Uh, let's quickly watch out for this trap. We've got... Until camp, we'll definitely get rid of that. I didn't realize that was until camp. 105... 120. This is a very, very good trap design group. These guys, they've been working with Six at looking at those traps and Linus. Studying those trap designs and making sure that they watch their feet. This place, very treacherous when you step on a trap. And don't they know it? There's been people that have uh, experienced it in the past and I feel like groups have formed little study groups that are uh, ready for adventure, preparing for everything and anything and Linus is, uh, is a good teacher in that. He survived the courtyard, and he, he was a very, very influential person in beating the courtyard. So I, I think that everyone's going to be appreciative here. Probably end up getting some stuns right now uh, off of these guys. But if we can kill... I was hoping we could kill on the turn one. We can. Yes. Death. And that's why the hemlock's super useful. Unforgiving. Damn. I was really hoping we could avoid... Ah. Oh. Okay. Doesn't matter. I was going to say I really hope we could avoid a stun. But we did. Uh, well, Battlefield Medic, this guy. Got to remember that this is a scaling heal. It keeps it keeps getting better and better. So the more we heal a single person, the more that heal will be effective. 
I just, I really love this combination of making everything squishy with Ruby and finishing it off with Nina and Bearfold. It's a very, very good little tactic here. And then that can happen sometimes. <laughs> yeah, as I said, this, this group is a, a slight bit overleveled for this area, so they probably are going to stomp at least somewhat. But you got to remember that there's three of them here three of them that don't have their gear upgraded, so we're not getting the extra benefits Packs apart from their actual stats. Are often low on supplies. But their damage and HP, I think, aren't going to change at all from their uh, last level. The match is struck. A blazing we're going to these rooms because they're empty. This is a complete night percent of rooms, so rooms that are empty are essentially free real estate. We, we get to go into them with no, no worry to us. It's only the, the way back that that hurts. But yes, Bear Thought with Last Light, even if you could give him a healing trinket as well, could be a very, very effective healer. Of course, Last Light, kind of broken as far as trinkets go. Really. It is. It's it's kind of broken. Something that we'll be using pretty much throughout this campaign. But if I, I, I'm planning to do a harder difficulty campaign after As this one. If I do purchase, go ahead with that, I probably will ban the use of this trinket, or at least try and nerf clear. it in the uh, in the game files myself. <laughs> Mainly just to remove that uh, gain in prot, or at least half it, because it's it scales very very quickly, and it prot is probably one of the most important things in this game. Um, reducing the amount of damage you take means the less amount of healing that you require which means you can be more flexible with how much damage you deal, which means fights end quicker. It's very, very nice. It's a self-fulfilling thing. It kind of, it, it doubles back on itself and just keeps just keeps rolling until it's out of control. It's, it's very nice. And it's why the trinket's just as powerful as it is. Okay, this guy's stealth, but we can still hit him anyways. Of course, always gonna do more damage to the guy in position one. Oh, beautiful crit. Beautiful crit. We'll set up that repose next, I think. We are going to get stuck there. That's okay, though. Get that repose going. You resisted the blight as well. And you resisted that blight too. But there you go, the sting. The stinger gives us the blight. Let's go for the heal now. Make sure that's uh, back up to full. Again, resisting the blight. The on-hit sting, the injection, whatever you want to call it. Not too scary, to be honest. Not too scary. Let's give everyone a little bit of prot and a heal. A little bit of stress relief, too. Everyone's getting a little bit stressed out. Stress wave coming in on these two. Not great, not terrible. Finish you off. Indeed it does. Okay, we aren't going to be able to do too much with Ruby here. Um, heal you again to make sure you're at full. We, we definitely want to get rid of that. Nice. B bit of blood showing up. We don't need it. We've got hundreds of blood now, but still. And quite a lot more rooms to go through. We'll end up camping pretty soon, I think. Uh, let's grab that so you can get a little bit more food out of this. I can never remember if this one's food. It's not, is it? Grab the money. It's the main thing we want. And yeah, we'll, we'll camp put this room here. In so we do have two lots of camping to go victory. through. And like I said, we have a very long diary to go into. Multiple pages with narration, so I'm ready to get into that. It'll be my first time reading it as well. I've had a scan over it, but I've kind of left it because I want, I want to have the genuine reaction in the video because it, it looks very impressive on first glance so i wanted to keep the rest of it as kind of a surprise to myself which will most likely mean i'll butcher it a little safety. more because i can't read but hey her secret room no uh so let's camp and let's get into this like i said this is by tea so we start with the, the narration for the attempted capture of chasey five men lined up outside the door to trails residence Bearthol, now captain of the town's guard, his old friend and brother in arm, Runes. Rayla, who had recently joined the town guard, and uh, Caesar, who had been one of the first to join the guard. And Mikhail, who often scouted pathways, uh, pathways into the wheel to anticipate um, brigade threats. Three, two, one, and the doors flew open, offering little resistance against Runes' weight, as he was the first to come crashing through. 
The rest of the team joined at his side. Bearthalt stepped up from uh, front to address and surprise Trell, who was already in a battle stance with his weapon and shield out. We, knew, we know Chasey is here. Bring her to me, demanded Bearthalt, forcefully clearing, um, forcefully clearly attempting to intimidate Trell's um, fut futility. Futility? Either way. Um, for what reason? Why bust down my door? We could have spoken. Trell's voice was calm and questioning, reflecting his mood. She's dangerous. She mur murdered David in the woods and she will pay for her crimes, Bethel said, matter-of-factly. Took a step forward. Not another step. Your ac accusations don't hold any water to me, Trell said, fully into his stance. He knew a fight was coming. Fine, Mikhail. Mikhail reached into a bag at his waist, listening uh, attentively for his next order. Flash him. And Mikhail expertly tossed two satchels at Trell's feet, a mixture of explosives and narcotic powders, two bright yellow flasks and a swirling cloud of black and blue wafted up from the door, the vapors dazing, so, um, dazing substances filling the room. Hold your breath. Let's, uh, let's head in there and find her. Bearthorpe backed his orders and took his first step, but then Rayla rushed past him, zealously obeying his command. She moved, if, um, she moved as if bypassing Trell completely, under the assumption that the satches, uh, satchels had done their work. Instead, she felt her jaw pressed upwards with a sudden force. She bit her tongue and, as the world spun around and she landed on the floor with a dent in her helmet. Trell's silhouette could be seen, still in the same stance, his shield retracting back towards him after the vicious strike at Rayla. It's me before anyone else in here. Trell spoke defiantly and sluggishly. He wasn't, at he wasn't at all immune to the chemicals invading his lungs. He wouldn't have very long, he figured, but he couldn't uh, move from this spot or someone might slip past him. Already the intruders had formed a circle around him to save Rayla, who was still recovering. It was, um, it was then that Dismas, coughing out of the uh, irritant gases, walked in from behind Trell, brandishing his blade. Something tells me, uh, someone tell me what the hell has happened. He looked around him at the scene and got a pretty good idea, especially having heard Chasey's name. They must be after her. He didn't get to, uh, the response he wanted. Take them down, Bearthalt said coldly, glaring at Trell. After a second hesitation, Caesar was the first to move, silently drawing his short sword and leaping at Trell, jabbing him with the blade. The sword barely pierced Trell's armor and out of the smoke, Caesar saw his end. The blade of Trell's axe swiftly approaching his head before an even swifter shield brought the axe to a halt. The fault shoved the uh, axe arm back and um, brought his shield back, lowering it, then slamming it into Trell's stomach. Trell was pressed up against the door for him, his head knocked against it. Vision as fuzzy as his thoughts, Trell strode forward, swinging recklessly at Bearthalt, who backed away. Rune charged forward with a battle cry and a bellow that shook all except the dazed, ad uh, dazed and adrenalized Trell, who ducked down and slashed Rune across the belly. Rune tried to retaliate, raising his sword high, trying to ignore the blood flow before Dismas charged into his side, sticking his short, 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 short sword into Rune down to the hill and topping, uh, toppling the giant of a man. Rayla came up behind Dismas, holding her sword by the blade, the handle came swinging down, but Dismas slipped, stepping back uh, to the side and delivering a jab into the center of Rayla's chest. The armor took most of the force, but the blade still dug deep into her flesh and burn, and she backed off against... Uh, again, the light was not coming to her aid. She was not meant to fight this man. While Bearthalt handled Trell, Caesar took the opportunity to slip past Trell, in air on finding the She-Devil Chasey, the whole point of this mission. Mikhail, seeing Rayla back away from the whole fight, fumbled to the f uh, to the firearm at his side. Once he finally drew the flintlock, he aimed carefully at Dismas, and Dismas saw the glint of the barrel out of the corner of his eye. And fast as he could move, uh, and faster than he knew he could move, he dropped to one knee, drew a f uh, drew and fired. Mikhail stood where he was, letting out a quiet death rattle as blood poured out of his neck, and then the and then fell to death's door, crushing the bag of satchels under his weight. The, they exploded all at once and the gases filled the room, billowing out of the house into the room past Trell. Bearthalt waited for the right moment, then swung his mace into Trell's jaw and shoved him aside. Trell fell to the floor and did not get up again. Bearthalt ran into the next room, which had filled completely with the sorting smoke. 
fighting against the numbness in his mind, Bervolt searched the room until he found Caesar, who was sprawled out on the floor, bleeding, but alive. As Caesar raised his head and spoke, she's gone. Holy hecking shit. That was awesome. That was one of the best things I've ever read. That was amazing. I loved that so much. That was such an intense battle. I hope, I hope Rune has lived, but if if he has died, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to send him on. But we'll see. We'll find out in the next chapter of this. But that was one of the best diary entries we've had in a long time. No offense to any of the other ones. They're all brilliant, but that was on another level. My god, that was so, so epic. Holy hell. But anyways, let's carry on with uh, with our actual mission. I was so enthralled in that. So enthralled. I'm so glad I brought Berthal out on this mission. Um, have a little look-see what we want to do here. Um, I think we go with this here. Extra damage and possibly crit. They all got crit. Really good. Um, then we get self-only. We don't really care about that. Remove one disease. Uh, one companion remove disease. We definitely want the scouting chance here. And we'll go with the speed as well. And then I guess we just go with this. Cool. Looks good. We're ready to go. But yeah, that was truly an amazing story. And I'm super excited to see where this goes and where it continues to grow to. I really like these very specific interactions. I know that we have a lot of people in the Hamlet that don't have fleshed out stories and that don't get some of the attention they maybe deserve. But at the same time, I do like the fact that we have a core team of people that are getting really long, specific and extra detailed stories. They, that, that, that really makes me happy. And I'm especially happy that people like TA, Cell, uh, Blank Gaming, Strange Wonder, uh, everyone that's been getting involved has spent so much time and put so much effort into building this world and is still so interested in it after all this time. We've been doing this series for the best part of a year now and I'm really glad that people have stuck by it and are still enjoying it to this day. It's 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 great. I, I absolutely love this series. One of my favourites to, to play. It's one of my favourites to read for. It's one of my favourites to interact with. And it's just, it's always so humbling and amazing to see what you guys write for this series. Um, for free. Like, I don't I don't pay anyone that does any of the writing. They just do it out of the interest of the series and the love for the content. So I'm, I'm super happy that people are so willing to get this involved. It, it makes me very happy. And it makes me want to continue doing YouTube. It really does. But anyways, back, back to the gameplay. Seems like Nina, um, Ruby, sorry, not Nina, is getting a little bit stressed out here. Um, especially with that extra horror getting on her there. But we're going we're gonna to give people some healing and some prop. Those buffs are going wild, man. But yeah, Nina should have insane crit now. Like 28%, I think. 29%. Wee. Look at that. Strike. Lovely damage. We're about to use Ruby to give ourselves a bit of stress relief soon, actually. Um, oh, we can only do that in position uh, 4. Okay. Doesn't actually matter too much. We don't need it. We should be over with this mission before the stress becomes too much. Another crit there from Nina. Wonderful. I'd say I get pretty unlucky on this game, but I get pretty lucky with crits. Like, I might get unlucky with other stuff, but crits are my jam. Crits are my jam. promises success. And you get extra damage until camp. Noise. We probably won't need to camp again. We'll probably keep all those buffs, which is lovely. Ooh, we got our first one of these guys. Um... We can't hit him with that, so let's hit him with this. And there's a crit for that extra bit of blight. Lovely. We're really going to be focusing truly on this guy. We don't have a lot of focus fire, but oh my god, the crits. The crits are so good. I love this guy's design, though. It's so good. Okay, invigorating tune. More stress. They're going to be focusing on uh, on Ruby here, I think. Maddening Shanty. That's actually good. We got the stress, but we, we got the repose, and he's essentially dead now. Yeah, we're going to finish you off. And... You're done. No! No! He got an extra move out! Nice. Okay, that's fine. 
I was really hoping we'd get an extra move out of this guy, uh, out of killing him, but obviously not. But there you go. Ruby is crit, like, so many times in a row now. This is absurd. I'm loving it. And there you go. As these guys As wail through, mount, wail through the curve. So too will Brilliant. Grab this. Oh, lots, lots of good stuff here. Lots of good stuff. We're not using any of that, so we'll have that. Want to get, get as much money going as we can here. It's the most useful resource to us at the moment. Still no secret room. But this could change that. Ah, no secret room at all. Damn, sometimes it happens. Hey ho. But it does mean that we only have three battles remaining, most likely. This one's a difficult one for sure. Let's pay attention to this. No crit to start. That's okay. This is probably the battle that's going to be most difficult for us in this entire session. Just because of this guy at the back. Which, that's perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Set up our repose here. A brilliant confluence of skill. Him being at the front Nervous. means Ruby does even more damage too, which is fantastic. Um, I actually think we set up for Nina and just move back here so Nina can strike this guy. I'd, r I'd rather get the damage off with Nina than get a heal off with Ruby. I think that makes sense, right? Oh, Nina, again. <laughs> he does have 20 dodge, so I do understand, but it's still very annoying. That's exactly why we didn't want that. The abyss 20 stress on everyone. Even the boldest gaze. We need that guy gone. I think he's gone. Yeah, he is good. Um... Yeah, let's 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 do a little bit of healing here. Give everyone a bit of prop. I'm not even. I, I keep using that that skill. Just like, oh hey, we just need the prop. We're actually getting so much more out of that than I could ever imagine. We can't we can't stress heal ourselves. Um, we're getting so much more than that than I could ever imagine because we're actually getting the stats off Bearfault's skill itself rather than just the stats off Last Light. The stats off Last Light are enough for me want to want to use it, and I'm getting a bonus on top of that. That's just impressive. This guy getting the armor piercing is very, very useful. I'm just going to do this so that we get um, the debuff on this guy and finish that guy off before he gets an additional move in. The mark here for that extra damage on Aurora might not be necessary, but we'll take it anyways. It is not necessary. Good. You're dead. Spear coming in, but we got the dodge. Really should be using Bolster before anything else. Plus 8 dodge is pretty good. There you go. Grab a dagger. We are getting moved around a bunch, but it's kind of working out for us at the minute, so I'm not that bothered. And there you go. Combat over. We're good. Oh, we do have to add an additional turn here. Could get a crit, I suppose. Didn't, but there you go. Um, a trifling victory. Bit of that. But a, but a victory, victory nonetheless. nonetheless. Extra bit of loot here. If only we don't need to rearrange anyone. Stress obviously got quite high the here. With there's, there's a possibility if we get another one of those enemies of us, um, of us taking a, a stress check here. Sure. Especially considering it's on Ruby, the person that can't heal himself. Uh, let's get rid of that and that, shall we? Just in case. Just to try and lower those chances. I mean, we could always camp again, I suppose. We'll see how this next battle goes. If stress is a little too high, then we will camp again. Uh, it looks like stress could get quite high, but the surprise definitely tilt us that in our favor. I'm very happy about. Extra arm piercing against this guy and hitting him like that is beautiful. Uh, gonna finish you so you don't get stuns on us. I think that's most important. And then we go for the repurse as well. I've not been really using uh, Bolster to start combat off, but I think it's better as using it when we need it rather than to start combat. Nice dodges, guys. It's really good for us. The barrier coming in, that shouldn't matter at all. Shouldn't matter at all. That does matter, however. That is very annoying. 
We'll do this and just get some blight on this guy. Was planning on doing the armor piercing, but blight's fine. That works. These two we can start damaging. Oh, it got the wrong one, but that, that actually works out for us anyways. Then we'll go with bolster now. Small bit of healing and that dodge. Oh, and the rest. Nice dodge. And then, yes, that's you finished. Good. Call to the deep. That gives me more damage. That's okay. That's okay. Just don't hit. Yes, there you go. It doesn't matter if you have more damage if you can't hit me. Accuracy down, baby. Minus 40. So you gone. Aurora, would you like to do the honors? In fact, we've moved, it, we've moved this one forward. We don't need her to do the honors. I'm Nina did it instead. Deep. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so stress wasn't too bad that fight at all, Holy actually. Uh, and there you go. We'll continue Rock adventuring just to get this chest real quick. Mud. But Finding beautiful. That went really well. First that went really, really well. Now it must be carried home. Very happy with that progress. And we got ourselves a trinket that we will we'll probably end up using a little later on. And everyone here went up to level six. Um, we definitely want to get rid of the shakes. Yet another good episode. And next episode, we In will truth, be um, we will be going against the bosses. So get ready for that, guys. Give me some suggestions for who I should take. We will be going against the bosses next. Ruby, the shakes, Bethel. You can you can take a little bit of a rest in here. All right, let's check a look at our trinkets. The Blackguard, bypass stealth, less accuracy, less virtue. On melee hit other enemies. Ooh, I like the idea of that. Yeah, let's go with that. I like the idea of that. Anything that debuffs everyone, I'm always down for. Um, hmm. Isn't anything there that I can see that I really want? Check out who we've got on the stagecoach. We have a level 5 golem. Very nice. My god, we got so many people. I reordered it the wrong way anyways. There you go. So we've got a golem, which is great. And we've also got a level 4 illuminator, which I'm very excited for. I'm going to go with a classic color scheme of red. Um, another cool class to go for here. And yeah, I'm very happy with those hires. Uh, again, great dire entries, people. Very, very good. Keep it up. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.